Each week, American History TV's American Artifacts visits museums and historic places. Founded in 1923, the Museum of the City of New York's collection contains nearly 750,000 objects. We visited to learn about the exhibit Gilded New York. My name is Janine Folino, and I'm one of the co-curators of Gilded New York, fashion, society, and culture that's uh, being shown here at the Museum of the City of New York, a uh, show that uh, opened in November of uh, 2013 and closes in October of 2014. So there's lots of time to come and see the show. And uh, in this beautiful little jewel box of a gallery, we've assembled a variety of objects that help the public to appreciate what life was like for the 1% in the original Gilded Age, the period that followed the Civil War from about uh, the 1880s through about 1910. And that period was characterized by great wealth, kind of like the dot-com people of our own era. But in those days, the money came from uh, various kinds of industries, mining, railroads, smelting iron, and also the rise of the modern corporation. All those businesses yielded enormous wealth at the same time that there was mass immigration to the area, a time when New York uh, was unified by all of its boroughs and its total population was over three and a half million people. With all those, uh, that mixture of people uh, coming, the lower classes, this rising upper class, there was this desire to sort of set oneself apart from the teeming masses. And so this 0.1% of people, they decided to move up Fifth Avenue, establish their own beautiful homes, import all the greatest works they could from Europe, and hire great American architects to design their homes and add to the beauty within them and fashion their clothes and live their own beautiful life. Our contemporary public is absolutely, absolutely mesmerized by those who are glamorous and rich and famous and beautiful. And most of the materials in this gallery um, were owned by individuals who everybody emulated in their day. So from our perspective, we in our, our egocentric manner think that we've invented the cult of celebrity and the cult of glamour. And I think it's very important to know that au contraire, we didn't do it. There was an echelon of, of social figures and theatrical figures who were constantly in the press, who were constantly interviewed, and whose clothes and jewels were described in great detail in the latter part of the 19th century, and the public followed them just as, as feverishly as our public follows our contemporary celebrities. And it was given as a gift by a wealthy industrialist to an orthopedic surgeon. So you see the handle of the cane uh, is in the shape. You've been watching a preview of our weekly half-hour American Artifacts program. Visit cspan.org slash history for schedule information and to view entire programs online.